In this video, I want to talk about how you can solve some important business problems by leveraging the services of AWS or Amazon. Now, we're not talking about Amazon's sales operations where you buy cat food or clothing or shoes or whatever from Amazon. We're talking about their data center or their services side of the business, which is actually where Amazon makes a vast majority of its money. Now, recently, while I was attending the FileMaker Developers Conference, I sat in a session by Jesse Barnum. Now, you all know who Jesse Barnum is. He makes a ton of great solutions for the FileMaker platform. In fact, we talk about them all the time. Well, he was presenting at DevCon, so I wanted to make sure I sat in his session, and he showed some really cool stuff. And specifically, what he showed was how to easily integrate AWS services into your FileMaker solution. Now, we're talking about APIs here, and this is the under the hood kind of programming stuff that goes on when one system interacts or talks to another system. Now, this process has become much simpler given the release of the FileMaker 16 product. So as long as you're using at least FileMaker 16 or newer, then you can take advantage of the cool stuff in this video. So first off, understand that Amazon has hundreds of services that they provide. The services could be anything from running a virtual server, which we do with FileMaker Cloud all the time. In fact, you probably have heard of that. But they also have all sorts of services for analyzing images or providing translations or storage of giant files or making repositories of videos available. In fact, a lot of the videos that you watch from RCC when you buy our complete training courses, well, we stage those up on Amazon's data centers in a service called CloudFront. And CloudFront basically takes our videos that we provide and puts them all around the globe, literally in all these localized data centers. So if you're in China or Japan or somewhere else like that, if you see our video, you're gonna be watching it from a regionally local data center. It won't be streaming from the United States. So Amazon does a ton of stuff. And so what Jesse Barnum at 360 Works did is he developed a framework a pre-built FileMaker file that kind of simplifies the process of connecting to Amazon. Of course, if you connect to Amazon, you have to communicate with Amazon who you are. So you already have to have an account with Amazon. And if you need help with that, we have a video that I'll put down here about how to connect with Amazon and getting the account set up. But once you have that information, then you can call specific services and do things with those services. Super cool. So in this video, what we did is we took this framework and I gave it to our new coaches. Our FileMaker coaches are working one-on-one -on -one with customers every day and they took Jesse's framework and they actually popped it open, wired it up and built a couple cool demos. Now this is first of several demos that we have going. And this demo is where you take a audio file and you upload it to Amazon and they give you back the written text of what was said in that audio file. Now this is super cool. It saves a ton of time and actually listening to the audio and getting a transcript. So this is basically a transcription service. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over here to my computer and give you a demo of this, it's really cool. So first off, this is the folder of goodies that Jesse Barnum provided as part of his AWS DevCon presentation. Jesse sent me this one, it's the latest release, and I've got the link here down in the description of this video. Now if I open up this directory, what you're gonna see is the framework file here, which is the actual code and framework. This is a PDF of Jesse's presentation that he provided at DevCon, along with another sample file, and more importantly, an important readme file. This framework sample file right here is what my coaches started with when they built this file right here. So if I go ahead and double click and open this file right here, I get this layout and file right here. What this is, is the framework provided over here, but with some specific code to call the transcription service. So the idea, of course, that we upload an audio file to Amazon, and Amazon processes it and gives us back the text of the transcription. Now, real quick, you're going to get this exact sample file. In this sample file is a functional demo account for you to play with. Now, it's really important you understand how this works. This access key and secret key Normally, you're never gonna find anyone that's gonna share this with you. However, I actually talked to the folks at Amazon, literally, which was kind of a weird experience because I've never actually talked to anyone there before. And we discussed with them making this available to a broader audience of people. And so 
If you use this key right here, one, this key is locked down and the only thing it can really do is run this demo here. That's one thing. The second thing is, is that we're putting about $100 of my own money onto this demo. So as you run this service, it will deduct from that $100. Now the transcriptions cost pennies per minute to do. They're very, very, very inexpensive. So the 100 bucks should last a couple months, I hope, but just understand that this is for trial and for demoing this technology. It's not for you to roll out the code. Also understand is that since everyone gets this file right here, it's possible that if you upload a text file here, that some devious person could probably figure out how to read that text file. Why? Because you're all sharing the same demo account. If you roll this out with your own account for your own business, then you're going to have a different access key, a different secret key, and you will have your own entirely separate secure area. But right now, this is like a community sandbox demo. So I have a giant playground with a giant sandbox and I have a bunch of kids in the sandbox playing with the same Tonka truck. And if you guys crash your Tonka trucks into each other, well, you were warned. Now, another good thing that I worked out with Amazon is that it will handle 100 requests simultaneously, which is a massive upsize from what they normally provide. Amazon normally will allow you to run 10 transcription requests in parallel, but we've upped it to 100. The idea being that hopefully as people download this demo and play with it, we don't exceed the 100. I really want you to play with the demo and have a successful experience with it. So we've spent a lot of time working that out and actually putting money into it and talking to Amazon and getting them behind the whole demo and everything else. So understand that this is a public sandbox here with you and everyone else in their Tonka trucks in that when you deploy it, you will get your own access key and secret key. We cover how to do that in our Amazon setup video, which we've linked below here as well. Now to actually run the demo pretty straightforward, I need an audio file and being the kind of person that I am, I had a uh, audio file of a recording we were working on for a video course. The audio file is called three clients and a bag of cats. And uh, we were talking about the three uh, clients that FileMaker has, Go, Pro and WebDirect. Anyway, so this is a recording. I could play it for you, but it sounds the same as what you're hearing here. And I'm going to simply drag and drop it into here. Now that file is in a container field here and I can tell it to push it up to Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and press this button here. And it's going to start a process of uploading that audio file to Amazon. The audio file itself is 34 megabytes in size and about 14 minutes overall. So it's actually a bigger audio file. Now, I've talked to a number of doctors, lawyers, and other professionals. They absolutely can see the value of what we're doing here because they would love to do recordings in the car, recording somewhere else, and actually have that transcribed automatically without hiring a secretarial or executive assistants to do that manually. This is way cheaper. Now, the file has been posted up to the sandbox up at Amazon. Technically, for those of you who understand this, it's in an S3 bucket, which is another words of saying a giant Amazon file server. So that file server, it's there and I can hit start transcription. So this tells Amazon's uh, transcription service to go find that file up on the file server at Amazon and start doing the transcription. Now, the next step here is kind of interesting. When the transcription is done, Amazon really doesn't have any way of telling us that it's done. The transcription just becomes available through Amazon's API. Suddenly the text is there. Put another way, FileMaker Pro with a locally running file here cannot receive messages magically out of the internet from Amazon. So what we're doing is we're actually telling FileMaker about every 30 to 60 seconds, it actually goes to Amazon and checks to see if it's done. If it's done, the text will appear here. If it's not done, it will wait another 30 to 60 seconds. So this is just a working progress indicator here that my coaching staff thought would be useful to remind people that FileMaker was still attempting to talk to Amazon. Now, a couple of minutes have elapsed and our file is here. So this is the text of what I said. Now, of course, you would think to yourself, this is not overly practical. But the reality is, is that the people who are recording the audio files 
are generally not going to want to sit there and stare at the screen for any length of time, even if it's 30 or 60 seconds. So the reality is that you would take the sample file, tear it apart, potentially put it in your own FileMaker file, and then when you drag and drop audio files in, you would drag and drop the audio files for the day or for the week or whatever you would do, and there would be a stack of them. And then FileMaker would run those in the background, either on the client or on the FileMaker server itself, and go and talk to Amazon and get the transcripts for you and load them in automatically. So after you loaded them, you walked off an hour or two later, all the text has been input and it's searchable. Very, very cool. So what about this file right here, this uh, AWS file? Well, we give you the link to this, the original framework. This is a link to our file, which has the demo test uh, key in it. So you can use that account. And of course, you can take the scripts apart and look at them here. These are the scripts for our uh, sample that the coaches created. At the top here, these are the uh, original scripts that were written by Jesse to help facilitate and make the connection to Amazon much simpler. The whole idea with the framework is to make the whole project simpler. If I had gone to my FileMaker coaches and said, hey guys, why don't you just magically connect to Amazon and figure it all out? Well, these are our new FileMaker coaches and they're still kind of learning the ropes a little bit and they are very talented, but to be clear, they're not really senior level staff. And of course, Jesse Barnum is a Jedi ninja kind of guy. And so he did the hard work and the rest of the FileMaker community can take advantage of that hard work by leveraging his kind of pre-can solution. And so we take his code, we use his code. Then my coach has added some additional features here for managing the upload of the file. And then of course, waiting for it to be completed and downloaded. So everything is fairly well commented here. Feel free to go through it. If you have questions, reach out to our team at support at RC Consulting, and they would be happy to talk to you about it. Because in reality, these guys are really sharp. They were really excited to build the solution and to get it going and to have it be useful and productive for people. So that is the Amazon AWS transcription service with a functional demo file that should work immediately without any problem. And of course, that was based upon the awesome work of Jesse Barnum using his AWS framework file. So this is Richard Carlton signing off and we'll see you next week.